Hey guys, so now that we're doing the uh, OM606 build, I need a turbo flange, and the uh, the KKK turbo on there has a weird triangle flange just on like these couple years of OM606 turbos, so therefore there's not really like an available aftermarket flange. So what I have here is a piece of half inch steel <clears throat> that I've traced out the correct pattern for the flange on. And the way I got the pattern is I took a piece of cardboard and I hammered it on the flange and it leaves like lines and I traced them, cut them, transferred it on here, took a hole punch, punched the three corners and I'm going to try and drill it out. I'm over at my office where I've got a drill press so I'm going to use the drill press on it and uh, yeah hopefully it works out and everything lines up and stuff so we'll get started with that. So as you can see, I now have my three main holes and I'm going to drill the center hole out. Hopefully it goes all right. I got a pretty beat hole saw, but I've got some faith in it. So time to go for the middle one. So, back at the barn, I got my flange all cut out now. I'm going to kind of grind it up a bit more before I actually use it, but here's like the rough shape. As you can see, I need to hammer that, but I'm starting to fit things up in the car. This is going to sit like that. I need, I've got it welded there, welded there, just tack welded. I'm going to hammer this side out so it meets the flange. And then I'm going to take a three inch pipe and I'm going to cut slices in it and kind of merge it into this so that I can fit the three inch onto the flange for the HX35. I'm going to try and do it as quickly as possible out of this flange so that I will have like the most flow. Um, yeah. So I'm going to keep working at it and I'll show you guys along the way. All right, so here's where I'm at for now. Um, as you, it's still kind of janky I haven't done any cleanup but like there you have the small the flange into the small pipe and it's tapering into the three inch and eventually what's gonna happen is a flange is gonna go on it somewhere and that's where my turbo will go so it's all for now well geez it'll all be one video for you but I'm gonna resume tomorrow Okay, so got a lot of stuff done yesterday. My uh, battery died, so I didn't really get a lot of it, but um, I now have the turbo mounted. I've got all my oiling set up. So real quick, here's my drain. These are actually OEM slip couplings that I put A and adapters on. So this will actually just like slide on O-rings up into place. There's the turbo. You can see there's an oil line going to it. I took the oil line off of a flare from the stock one kind of feeds down and under there she sits nice big full set pretty cool so that's gonna be the end of this video where I messed around with the exhaust flange as you can see there's my adapter sitting in there still needs a little bit of grinding and tweaking it's not completely done but it's pretty close I'll show you the under view so that's kind of what it looks like from the bottom oh and I'll show you how that drain pops in all right so I think this is pretty cool so you just take it and there's an O-ring up top. There you go. So that's now slid on. And there you go. Got my drain connection. I will put a 45 in it. I just need to wait on a 45 fitting so that'll do for now but anyways that's gonna be it for now I think the next 
video will be pulling off the front bumper and doing the intercooler piping and stuff, getting over to the other side. So I'm going to end this one now. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, check in for the next video of me doing all the intercooler stuff to this thing.